Battlefield 2042 is finally getting its first major content update for Season 1, and it's called Zero Hour. No, not the Zero Hour that we've been playing on YouTube and Twitch for over a year now. That's the slow-paced tactical shooter. But the Battlefield Zero Hour, the total opposite, massive, open-world, running simulator, fast-paced game. Yeah, but uh, let's see. This major announcement actually should be coming out in, uh, should be in a few hours that it's going to be going up. They're supposed to be revealing one specialist, two helicopters, two weapons, and one map for the content. Yeah, it really didn't take all that long for the Zero Hour update to be memed into the Zero Content update. So, uh, Battlefield 2042, long, long overdue for some content in that game. Also, long overdue for being fixed to actually be a proper launch title. Last time we looked at their update, that was pretty significant. We saw some FPS improvements, some, not a lot of FPS improvements, but really the mouse lag was the key fix there. So, Season 1, as much as it's supposed to be a content update, it seems like they're leaning heavy on hey, look, we fixed a lot of these things. They also released a blog post highlighting the fixes that they made to the existing maps, actually making it look like there's a war happening there. Also making changes to the specialists and how they sound rather than sounding goofy and having fun in some kind of battle royale-ish dumb gameplay. Don't be sad. This is just how it works out sometimes. Look at this serious team, hey? Let's have fun. You need supplies? I'm your man. How about this? I'll try not to make you look bad if you try to keep up. Charlie Foxtrot, here we come. They actually sound like they're involved in some kind of serious fighting going on. That's things that the community has talked about from the very beginning. And so all that stuff should be coming out you know, soon. There's actually an update that's supposed to be coming out today. I'm not sure if it's going to be right after this announcement or just before it, but there's supposed to be an update that will address a lot of things like animations. And here you'll actually see a little video that they made highlighting the before and after with the animations. This season one content update, I, I, until we actually see more about the announcement today, I, I don't want to just say that it's just basically getting the game to launch. But one specialist, two helicopters, two weapons, and one map does not sound like a heck of a lot of content in the first place. And I'm gonna say that it really does seem like they're leaning a lot on, hey, look at what we did to the stuff that was already in the game. So it's already setting itself up to be a little bit of a disappointment as far as content goes. But yeah, if they can at least get a good functioning game that actually matches the story that they sold us, I think that we're going to see some improvement in player counts. Also, just and how enjoyable the game is because it really wasn't that fun in the beginning and you know, after we played it from the last update that fixed the uh, mouse input lag that one actually made the game more smooth to play through and felt like a better shooter but the battlefield aspect was still a little bit weird i'm also really curious to see what they're going to do for specialist changes with this update because uh specialist was something that they pretty much made clear that they're committing to but they didn't really tell us what their plans are for how to make the specialists maybe either stand out more or be more unique or to justify their existence over the class system that Battlefield has known all this time. Thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring the stream. Um, I just wanted to throw the link down below in the video description where you can get 30% off of an annual subscription. Um, Skillshare is basically a community for people to learn creative things together, illustration, photography, video editing, social media posting, um, cooking, you know, uh, being able to use a knife properly and post on TikTok and everything creative is on there. Uh, get 30% off the annual subscription with the link in the video description below. Thank you to Skillshare. So what I'm looking for out of this announcement today, is better be some damn good content for it to be so little but to see exactly how they improved and then maybe we'll see people come back. The update is not expected to come out until July, but this is just more of the announcement. Oddly timed right around the Modern Warfare 2 announcement. I, I don't know if they are just so committed to Battlefield 2042 that they're trying to bring it back before Modern Warfare 2, but Modern Warfare 2 
is definitely going to come out punching once we start to see more information. Hazard Zone, don't know if they're giving up on that or not, because Modern Warfare 2 seems to be releasing their own version uh, of Hazard Zone, uh, trying to go after Tarkov-like mode. But yeah, I definitely would like to see that the game is at least improving. And it seems like from these changes, they have listened to the community to a certain extent. I don't know if they do get it up to what it should have launched at quality. It's bizarre because as much as we talk about don't pre-order games, it's the way that the game is set up. I've said this a lot on stream, but I really haven't said it in a YouTube video, so I'm just gonna bring it up here. It just seems like the natural cycle of things for AAA games lately has been to release a buggy mess or poor quality, and then the main developers move on to the next game. So the people who now get thrown onto the project are tasked with cleaning up the original creator's mess, which just seems like a crazy cycle to go through because then that means the same original people who screwed up in the first place are already working on the next one. Uh, that's basically the way that these development cycles have gone for Battlefield, for Call of Duty, because they have three, no, actually in total, I think it's like 11 or 12 different studios working on Call of Duty. So yeah, for all of this excitement that we're getting, and, and this is a good time to think about this because the Modern Warfare 2 announcement's coming soon. We're going to just need to calm down and wait for it to actually come out before spending our money on any of this. Because then it can all end up being like Battlefield 2042. Thanks for watching. Like and comment and sub and all that stuff that everybody says. It actually really does help out, but you know the whole jingle now. I'm live on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday at 10 p.m. Eastern and Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video.